No terrorism, no serious crime, nothing to scare away the big New Year's Eve crowd that showed up in downtown Colorado Springs overnight. As KRDO News Channel 13 Scott Harrison reports, it was great news for police and holiday revelers who wanted to stay safe. Laurel Gardner recently turned 21 and on New Year's Eve took her first trip to the downtown bars in Colorado Springs. But she almost didn't go. My parents really didn't want me to go out. We were planning on staying in last night, and then my friend texted me and she was like, Let's go out. My mom was like, There's terrorism. Fortunately, there wasn't, although many of you worried about it. Even Laurel began to have second thoughts. I really hadn't thought about it till then, and I kind of got nervous. And then once we got there, everyone was in such a good mood. Police say their increased presence worked. They ticketed only seven people overnight, three for disorderly conduct two on weapons violations, and there were two disturbances involving a gun and a knife. We thank goodness we had enough resources downtown that they were able to respond and uh, stop anything before it escalated into something worse. Springs police say although they don't have final numbers yet on how many total calls for service they responded to overnight downtown, you can bet it was more than those seven citations issued would indicate. In fact, police say there were still a lot of people who came downtown who were not worried about crime or terrorism or drunk drivers. They only wanted to have a good time and be safe. After Laurel Gardner's positive experience, her mom accompanied her downtown for breakfast on New Year's morning. And Laurel's not through yet. Coming back tonight, so. That's what police and downtown promoters want to hear. In Colorado Springs, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13. And Laurel says even with the increased presence downtown, officers blended in so well that she didn't notice them.